Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Out. Now, I wasn't actually intending on making this video. I was going to integrate it into an automation video and we were going to try and make a banger racer like this. We still might do that, but I've been playing Trail Out for the past hour or so and I am thoroughly impressed. So today I just wanted to play it for you. The game came out today, by the way. Check it out on Steam if you like what you see here. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So the basic idea of trail out is flat out but modern and with a couple other ideas mixed in there as well. To me, this is the real flat out three. I'm just going to pretend that three and four don't exist because two, then ultimate carnage, and now this. That's the flat out series to me. The game has quite a lot to offer. I'm not very far into it, so uh, this will be a pretty early impression. We'll try not to spoil any story beats or anything because yes, this game has a bit of a story to it. Uh, but yeah, let's go look at my favorite part of the game so far. If you go to the junkyard, uh, which is just around back of your shop, they will literally drop the car and it will explode in front of you for every single one of these. Uh, I don't know why, but this just makes me very happy. Speaking of car selection, we'll look at the full roster in a bit. Let's get into a race. So we have career, we have free race, and we have split screen. If you go into split screen, uh, you can invite friends to play with you, which is fun. I haven't tried this yet because nobody has the game yet. I'm playing it early. Uh, for the purposes of this, we're just going to get into the career. It's got a fairly similar structure to what you might see in a lot of racing games. I think even the most recent Dirt game has something like this, where you have to complete certain races to get to certain points. But this game has fans, and every time you complete any sort of objective in the race, you get fans. These races I've done already once, so I'm just going to do them again, and uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, welcome to the farm. So a lot of the tracks in this are kind of similar to what we've seen before in flat out games of past, and I like that. That sort of sense of familiarity is something that is uh, very welcome in this. I also really like how there are characters, as you can see, I just smashed into big cheese there. <laughs> that was something that I think is sorely missing from Wreckfest. It just doesn't have that kind of character, quite, quite literally. Also, massive explosions and me spinning out immediately. Maybe not showing off my best driving prowess, but I don't think you're here for that. Let's just play the game. So you notice up in the top right there's this meter called fans, and basically I'm getting fans for doing certain things. Smashing into somebody gets me more fans, so you actually are encouraged to run into people because, yeah, this game is entirely about smashing stuff. I can definitely get behind that. You'll also get fans for maintaining certain positions, like I'm currently slipstreaming, but my position sucks, so I'm just getting points for that and not actually for like being in second or being in third or something like that. There is a drift button, it is that sort of game, a very, very arcade physics-wise. I think the cars, if, if there is one criticism, especially when you're in the air, the cars are a little bit floaty, but other than that, it's fine. I feel like Flatout 2 is a little bit more grounded, but they do have the tuning, or, or they do have the handling pretty well tuned in this game, and I think it's a fun model, which is really all that matters. We don't need realism when we're out here having fun, and also smashing into rocks at high speed. And that's a finished run there. You'll notice there's no music. I have to turn it off, but the soundtrack is actually pretty good. I was surprised to uh, listen to these songs. I've never heard any of them, at least the ones that I've played so far, but it's good music and it really actually fits the theme. So there you have it, that's the basics. Let's go through the car list so you can see what is available, at least in the junkyard so far. I'm assuming that if this game is as popular as I'm hoping it will be, there'll be DLC and more additions to the roster, but it starts off with some very basic Russian vehicles. You'll notice this game has a bit of a Russian theme going on, just a, just a touch. <laughs> Your main character is uh, Russian. <laughs> but there are some more interesting cars as well in here. Some big wagons, for instance. Um, there's a sort of Buick Grand National-esque vehicle. A lot of old stuff, which is cool. There's a Suburban. And then the fastest car is a Camaro from the looks of things, at least so far. And to get that, you do need 1.8 million fans. I'm not even close. As you might suspect, there is customization uh, and there is also repair. So I have this Volkswagen Beetle, which has been damaged from a previous race, and it'll cost me $16 to fix it. Thankfully, repair is quite cheap. Taking a look at the workshop for this car here, 
Uh, I have it fully upgraded at this point, but we have stuff like body mods, which increase the weight, but they also increase the structural integrity of it. Um, we've got the engine, obviously that's power. Uh, it, it's a very simple system. If you've played Wreckfest, then you know what this is all about. Very similar stuff. I've noticed something interesting that wheels don't actually affect grip. They just are style, which is interesting. So even with the really spiky wheels, you're not going to be getting any better grip. We've got nitrous because yes, and we have paint. It doesn't seem like paint is open, so you can only paint it the colors that are shown here, at least for now, but they do have sponsored ones so you can get little bonuses and stuff, which I like as well. And also you can customize your license plate. They have a bunch of different things on there. The customization is decent. I wish there were more visual things that we could do, but I'm sure that will be added in the future. There's also an app, which I just unlocked. I haven't, as I said, I haven't made too much progress in this game. So we have outfits, we have a garage that could be potentially upgraded, but the app is a weird one because you get donations from fans, just like streaming in real life, I guess. You also get money for completing achievements, and these are the Steam achievements as well. Plus they have challenges, so if you get bored you can try and do these within your races, just because, yeah, I mean it could be an interesting little twist. So let's do another race. Uh, you'll be happy to know that they ha do have the stunt challenges in this game as well, but uh, first of all let's just get into another one of these. So far I have the difficulty set to half, they have a slider. Uh, and it's at 0.5 out of 1, uh, and the AI seems to actually be putting up a good fight. I'm not particularly great at flat out games or games like this in general, but it is difficult so far to win. Uh, although thankfully you only need top 3 to progress, and even then you don't need much, you just need fans to really move forward, so you get them every race. You can see that the tracks are just littered with stuff to destroy, and the game also slows down when you ram somebody uh, at speed and that includes the audio from the music so if you hit somebody hard then the uh, entire game slows down to watch it which is fun. I think that is kind of the best way to describe this game like it's not perfect but it is a lot of fun and it really has that same spirit that the old flat out games had. You can tell that this isn't just some kind of like quick cash grab or something like this is a game that de the developers put a decent amount of effort into and that's something I really appreciate it. Like it, it pays homage to the old flat out games while doing something new as well with its new systems and such. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's fun. You can kind of see what I mean right now uh, in terms of the difficulty, I'm in fourth place. I made a few mistakes, but uh, the leader and the other cars that are in front of me are way in front. So yeah, three laps in this race, we're probably not gonna do better than fourth unless something drastic happens in the figure eight. Oh my goodness, I suck! <laughs> but we're good, just a little bit of a jump there. So this game does something that I like, which is hitting things gives you nitro, and that's something that features in Burnout and also Flat Out of the past. Uh, and it's sort of a good toss-up, because it's like, if you hit a red barrel in this game, you'll get a ton of nitrous. But it's also a red barrel, <laughs> so it's a risky maneuver, like you're gonna lose health, it'll explode, but you get nitrous, so it's, it's actually got some strategy. And fourth place, not bad at all. I'll definitely take that. Oh yeah, they do have <laughs> characters, as I said in this game. Uh, some of them are a little bit more uh, interesting than others, but they're all like classic stereotypes, basically the same sort of style that we saw in the original flat out games, which is something I again appreciate. Looks like we got something new on the app. I haven't been accepting any of these uh, challenges because yeah, <laughs> we got a $4 donation. Thank you, random guy from Kiev. I appreciate it. Let's get into a free race. We may as well try a stunt if I can do that. We've got Stadium and Stadium. I can't do one of them because I don't have enough fans. However, uh, this is my first time trying this in this game. From the screenshots, it looks like it's very similar to old flat out stuff. So yeah, you know, it's exactly the same as old flat out stuff. This is gonna be great. And we get a bit of a tutorial, that's okay. Um, we just gotta make sure to launch our character into the bowling pins. Yeah, I remember how to do this. I just don't know how to launch. Okay, it does it for you. <laughs> Beautiful. No, that sucked. Okay, I'm gonna try that again, but this time maybe going a little bit harder. 
Oh. Come on, that's way better. That's almost a strike. Oh, man. Alright, let's do it again. I know that these things are all down. I'm just gonna hammer it. And hopefully a little bit further helps. The slick floor. Come on! There's gotta be a better strategy than just hit it in the middle. And final throw of bowling. Right down the middle and not even close to what we wanted. But hopefully that's good enough for like a fifth place. Sixth. <laughs> Dang, it won't round me up. Well, that's unfortunate, but first time trying it, I'm glad to say bowling is a hit. So I'm trying something different now. It's called Hunter, a destroy all cars. It looks like we need to destroy three cars, so that should be good. And uh, this is pretty much how the game started out with these sort of generic vehicles. But <laughs> it'll be fun to try and smash them. And it looks like we don't actually have to follow the rules of the track either, so we can take a head-on approach if we want to, and I think that's probably going to be the best uh, way to do this. I'm going to turn this way, and... Oh, I hit somebody. Maybe not quite as square on as I needed to. Pretty good hit, though. Pretty good hit. Okay, what I'm going to do is run around the outside ring, and then I will give it a try to smash into these guys again. <laughs> this time from the opposite end of the course. Come on, full speed. Oh, we gotta get another one. Bam, and now oh, nobody else. I'm not sure if I can die during this. If we just need to hit three before I die, then this might be a bit more of a challenge than I thought. This guy's on fire. Yes, we got one, okay. So it is possible. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've locked myself into this guy. It's the first time this has happened. Thankfully, we can reset the car if actually getting stuck in somebody becomes an issue. So one thing I wanted to comment on is, I know a lot of games these days- Oh, I just died. <laughs> a lot of games these days are having performance issues at launch especially, but I haven't had any problems with this game. Uh, it's been fine for me, so I, uh, yeah, I mean the hardware I'm running is pretty strong. The game is on Unreal Engine, but it runs better than a lot of the AAA stuff that we've been seeing coming out these days. Did I just kill myself? Yes, I did. I am first. I think that's the first time I have ever gotten first in this game. And I got $375. Thank you very much for our sponsor giving us another $125. But yeah, that's that's trail out. Uh, at least the, what it is so far. One thing I was just looking for was Demolition Derby. And it, it does appear that there are two different versions of it, which we haven't tried yet. But I'll let you do that for yourself and me in the not so far future because I'm probably going to be playing this for a while. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it gives you a better idea of what this game is all about. I was not sponsored to make this, but the developers did send me a key early so I could check it out. I missed the beta so I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> I decided to uh, yeah, try and get my hands on it a little early anyways, but it was definitely worth it. But yeah, that's it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to our uh, 43,000 fans in this game. I'm pretty darn close to how many subscribers are on this channel at this point. I'll see you guys again soon.